You've likely seen these lights over some of Tucson's busiest or most dangerous intersections. Work on several Hawk lights is planned for this year, and the one on Speedway in Ritchie is the first. Some people just won't stop. Even if you're out there, they won't stop. At Speedway in Ritchie, cross at your own risk. But I can run. I'm really spry. So when I see it getting close, I can outrun the, the people that won't stop. There's a marked crosswalk and a few signs alerting drivers to stop for pedestrians. But one pedestrian says that doesn't always seem to work. A guy was over on that. He was making a left and I was coming to clear and he didn't see me and he had to swerve to miss me. And that was, that was the only time I was really afraid for my life. Robert Raywinkle says he crosses this intersection daily and it could be pretty dangerous. The city of Tucson is taking another step toward increasing pedestrian safety by installing a hawk light. The overhead pedestrian beacon will show red lights to drivers when activated. That's something Ray Winkle says he's looking forward to. I'm telling you, when, especially when the traffic's heavy, most of them will keep going and there'll be a kind person that'll see and they'll stop. And then the rest of them, when they see that one person stop, will follow suit. But I've had two lanes stop and the third lane keeps going. The Hawk Light is expected to be up and running by sometime next month. It'll be one of more than 100 all over Tucson. Ray Winkle says even in crosswalks or intersections with a hawk light, pedestrians should still be vigilant when crossing the street. I've been out there and I've had guys go through honk at me saying that I was wrong for trying to go across the crosswalk. <laughs> Work is still underway for a hawk light at 22nd and Belvedere and construction on six other intersections around Tucson is set to start this summer. You can see a full list of where they'll be on our website, kega9.com.